a cloudy day in Dallas here, but no clouds can hold down just how bright today is going to be. A little bit about myself before we get started. For those of you that don't know, my name is Adam Sandoval. I am one of the Americans. It's just people out here having a good time. There's no crazy, no craziness to it. But my story is this. For the last four years, I've been riding motorcycles long distance across country. I've been just documented all on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. I have been riding around the country, just visiting all of the baddest roads, the coolest towns, the nicest restaurants, and even some of the raddest bars. So if you are into that type of content, please go ahead and click the subscribe button now. In traveling the country, I did all kinds of crazy things. I rode in snow. I slept next to my motorcycle in some of the strangest places, behind gas stations, in farmer's fields, on top of mountain ranges, in the middle of nowhere where there was no light but the stars in the sky. Good morning, my travel tribe. It is about six o'clock in the morning. I am awake, but I'm still sleeping. Birds, the birds always wake me up in mornings like this. Underneath my bike, that's my setup there. Everybody wanted to know, where do we find free places to camp? Well, I did it last night. But all those travels had a much deeper meaning, and that was charity. I was raising money primarily for veterans, but for several charities across this nation. 16 times, coast to coast, 12 north to south, on the back of a motorcycle. They say I've shared the road with more motorcyclists than anyone alive. Putting veterans on motorcycles has been a really big deal for me. I put over 11 veterans on motorcycles all across this country, surprising them with a very rad gift. I'm proud to give you the keys free to you and hand you the keys to your very own brand new 2017. Thank you for my freedom. always said raising over five hundred thousand dollars for charity man it makes you feel good but I think it's just a drop in the bucket to what we do together as a community what these videos do what the social media does see this allows us to reach more people the more people we reach the more people we inspire the more people we inspire the more people are out there helping our communities and that my friends is what the Americans are all about so today is a is a first for me I've I've never uh, given somebody a motorcycle that is not a veteran. And before, before you jump down my throat, let me explain why I think hooking this man, Mark Doner, up with a brand new Indian is so important. Now, if you don't know who Mark Doner is, uh, he's huge. He's a, he's a YouTube mastermind. The guy's brilliant and he's got millions of followers on Instagram. You can follow his Instagram here and on YouTube. See, the thing about the social media game that we're in is there's so much negativity, obnoxiousness, just craziness, in my opinion, just mind decaying content. And Mark is one of the guys who's doing it, in my very humble opinion, doing it correctly. He is a, a positive attitude, he has fun, he makes little skits, makes fun of all kinds of good stuff, man. Uh, really a clever, talented man but reaching millions of people. This is a man that we need to have on motorcycles, that we need to have out there in the community, and it's in his nature to help. In hooking him up with this Indian today, I am hoping that he's gonna be out there making a difference. If you Before I get into today's story, I just wanted to backtrack a little bit to show you guys how I came to meet these two young gentlemen. A week ago, I wrapped my car like a candy cane to spread Christmas joy, and if it just got one smile from someone, my job was done. 
When I did this, I realized my car looked like Santa's sleigh, and I thought, hey, it'd be cool to fill up a bunch of sacks with toys and deliver them on top of the sleigh to children in need. That's where my buddy Bear came in. The Burger God live and direct in Irvine. I told him about the idea, and he told me about his annual toy drive where he would be feeding 500 plus families and donating 2,000 plus toys to kids in need. I wanted to help. So my friend Trisha and I went to Target, filled up some of Santa's sacks with a bunch of toys to donate, and packed them into the car to drive to my friend's toy drive. The man is making a difference, and now he's gonna be making a difference on a new Indian. The only question is, which one will he pick out? This is a beautiful Indian. Look at that paint. So you got the touring models. Will he go shiny, crazy paint? Or will he go flat out, blacked out like my buddy? Or will he do something old school nostalgic? Now I will be one of the first to tell you the old school fenders and the old school bags and the old school look really has to be on the right bike. And I think Indian absolutely nailed it on this one. She runs good, let me oh, tell you. Oh man. Yep, yep. This here is uh, the Indian, as you can see from the label. Uh, the Indian warning, 2000 and, uh, 2019 edition. I know my motorcycles very well. I was just talking to the people, Mark, and I was telling them, you know, we got to figure out what bike you're going to pick out. Is Dude. it going to be shiny paint? No, 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 Matt. It's going to be Matt. It's gonna, I, I saw this one, if we walk in, I was just in here. It looks sick. You're already ahead of me, man. Yeah, I'm ahead of you. <laughs> you beat me here. Yes. Damn. No, but I saw you outside vlogging. It was rain. <laughs> <laughs> the one right in the front. Probably the most expensive. I don't know. This one right here? Yeah. Look how sick the Scout. That is. that is a sick bike. Dude, have you ever ridden a Scout? No, I've never ridden an Indian. You've never ridden an Indian? No. This is going to be your first Indian experience. Yeah. But you are a rider. Yeah. You've ridden lots of motorcycles. I may not look like I'm a rider the way I'm dressed, but yes, I have ridden lots of motorcycles. <laughs> Well, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get you a wallet chain. We don't want you losing your wallet out there on the... See so what? that's what that is. Oh, yeah, man. I thought it was just a style point thing. No, man, I, I can't even go to the back. I can't even sit down on the toilet without this thing falling out. Look at the size of this wallet. We're not quitters. We're Americans. Damn right, baby. <laughs> Damn, I don't even... That thing weighs like 20 pounds. Well, you know, it's debt. It's, it's debt. full of, full it's full of debt. debt. <laughs> so the brand new Scout, this is what you're digging on, huh? This looks sick. You know, I've never ridden a Scout either. This is kind of matte look, right? That is definitely matte. It's a military edition this too. This is kind of cool. cool. Yeah, I like that this is brown. I've never seen it. That is a factory in GNC. Look at that bad boy. This is uh, this is for someone much bigger than me. <laughs> this this is is what are you, like 6'4"? Yeah, but like I'm skinny as hell. <laughs> Whoa, this thing's big. A lot of room back here for the misses. For the misses, that's that could be your diamond stitch seat. <laughs> Maybe I'll have her up here and then I'll sit back there. <laughs> you know, I live in Los Angeles. It's a little bulky. Lane splitting. Yeah, you can lane split. I can lane. Yes, yeah. yes. This is not a lane splitter. No. Some awesome. old school. Look at this. We're straight out of the this 50s with that thing. This thing. I like this. this I do dig the brown leather. Chieftain. They have Chieftain, right? Chieftain has a fairing. This is kind of cool. Very old school. I like the throwback look of it. The sweeping fenders, the old school paint. And it's got the white walls. White walls. What? And of course, the fringed brown leather. Yeah. Just imagine those blowing in the wind, Mark. I can see you go down the road. I'll put like tassels on. <laughs> this one's slick. Yeah, uh, that is my friend. That is a dark horse. Everything's blacked out. The Chieftain Dark Horse is over there. Over there by the window. That's what I'm riding. And uh, and that has the fairing. Has the fairing. I'm learning. And it's all blacked out. <laughs> yes. Flat paint. This has no fairing. Check this out. Push that button. That's what's up. Wow. Wait, doesn't it have to have a key? No key, man. But what if someone wants to steal it? Well, it's a key fob. It just oh. detects that it's close to the bike. Oh. What is this lock system over here? What do we got going on here? I've that never locks seen your this. saddlebags. These oh, bags? Power locks. Nah. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Everybody loves the power locks. That tripped me out my first time too. So it's locked now? Yeah. And then you can unlock no, it. Unlock, it. unlock it. Wow. <laughs> power locks. You also got a lock on your key fob with this mod. Never seen anything like it. It's revolutionary, man. Imagine being cruising down the highway. <laughs> Alright, man. So this is what you're riding? This is what I'm riding, except in flat black. Now you got the GPS. You've got the power locks, but you've also got... Wow. Yeah. Navigation. Go ahead and, uh, yeah. Go ahead and hit that button up right there. Which one? This one? Yeah, push it down. Push it down? Oh, whoa. 
<laughs> Whoa. Hot California days, and then on the. Uh, it is hot. It is hot. In the rainy days, you got a little oh, protection. I don't, I don't ride in the rain. Come on. How does one comfortably ride this thing? All day long, man. With your arms up here? I mean, it's good for posture, I guess. Great for posture. This is nuts. The bike is. is this, this is fully custom? Uh, that's customized, yeah, for certain. But then your initial choices were these yes. scouts. These ones are more in my lane. Sporty. Meant to be ridden like, in a, like a forward position. Exactly right, yeah. man. Exactly right. Way more active of a ride. Correct. You know? Exactly right. It's a bit more aggressive. It'd be better yeah. for the canyons you've got down there in California. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, we can't ride yet, man. Why? Because you, uh, where's your helmet? You can't, I can't mess up my hair, man. Come oh, on. the hair. This is my staple. I hate to tell you, Mark. What? Your, your hair is kind of messy. What? Yeah, it's messy already, no. man. Yeah, no. man. We gotta find you a helmet. Here we go, ruining the hair job. <laughs> Breathe. It's a little snug, <laughs> but I, it, it's snug. It'll be okay. I mean, you're turning red. I don't know if that's a, is that a thing? <laughs> <sighs> I need a size bigger. So I think uh, what we need to do is we need to talk to my friends over at Senna. What's that mean? Well, this is my helmet that they hooked me up with. Wait, it's got a built-in camera? Boom. Does it film at all times? Anytime I want. And I could like, could I like upload the footage to my vlog or something? Yes. And it's got a built-in microphone so it records everything you say inside Bullshit. your Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> I want one. Senna. If you're watching. <laughs> send, send my friend one of your helmets. No way. He will put it to use. You know how good that content would be? Just like. Mm-hmm. That's. Moto vlogs. It's where it's you at. You charge man. the helmet? Yeah, you just charge the helmet right there. Wow. Yes, 2018, sir. 2018 going into 2019. You never would have thought you'd see it. But you did, because Senna, they out here. <laughs> and it doesn't look like you got any shades either, man, so... Uh, what are these? That I can set you up with. Those Hi. are my signature Adam Sandoval Rides shades with the magnetic what? arms. What? So we got a patent on them. You can stick them to anything metal. Bro, thank you. Yes, sir. Get right of those shades, man. Oh. Oh, they look good on you. Do they? Oh. They do. Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta go into my office. One thing Indian has been killing it on is their merch. They've got some pretty sick stuff. We're gonna see if anything is Mark approved. <laughs> Picture me in this. <laughs> oh, there you go. Man. Do you hear that? That's the women screaming all across the world. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've got helmets, we've got eyewear, we've got motorcycles. Mark is taking the bike he picked out. The brand new 2019 Indian Scout. And I want to try something just a little bit different. So I went old school, retro. I don't know what it is, I just, I like the looks of this bike. But then there's a third bike over here. And you aren't gonna believe who this bike is for to ride today. Mark actually brought his father in. Uh, kind of just gonna do a day of riding around, father and son. That is a type of bonding and tradition we love to see here in the motorcycle world. Mr. Donor, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. You so we, for we, got, we got two YouTubers here doing this now, yeah, huh? <laughs> you know, Dad, you know. Yeah, his channel as well. Uh, so, yeah, man. I appreciate the offer. Thanks for having me out. Absolutely, so. man. I'm glad you're going to enjoy a ride. Did you uh, show him the one that he's going to get to ride today? No, I haven't showed him yet. But oh. he did get boots. I told him to buy boots. Yeah. He oh, came yeah. prepared. Me? Not so much. You know, <laughs> you know that, that's illegal. Shh, don't say it. It is, man. You gotta have, you gotta have, uh, you gotta cover your ankles. <laughs> he just took the test. <laughs> He's gonna ride on this. Mark's gonna ride on that. I'm gonna ride on the other one. We're gonna tear up the town. Let's do it. I like it. I like that. You got the right colors. Go with my hair. You're looking so LA, man. I know. It might, it might be the shoes. <laughs> Don't take notes from me on how to ride a motorcycle. This is not the uh, approved motorcycle attire.
smile. I wow. Wow. A lot of power, my man. A lot of power. They are torquey. Bring, I'll tell you what, it brings back memory. Oh. It brings back memory, man. Does it make you feel young again? It does. It does. Invigorating and everything else. But, you know, I tell you, it's just, it takes some getting used to because you feel that horsepower underneath you. That baby cruise is nice and smooth. Oh, yeah. Bro, that was fun. Yeah. It's hard to ride a motorcycle and not smile. That is a fact. I, I opened this thing up. I, I don't know if you saw me a couple times, but I was like, I was doing some of this action right there. I was pretending I was a race car driver, just flying and cruising. But dude, this thing is nice. I took it, I flew past you a few times. You did pass me a couple times. Well, there, who's, who's more experienced, me or you? Let's, you let's be honest. What can I say? <laughs> Bro, I'm so excited to ride this thing. Like the rule, man. Well, I know that I couldn't go to a better person. It's so important, all the inspiration that you do out there Thank every you, day about keeping people happy, keeping people positive. That's my motto, dude. Be positive, be happy, be you. Like, I, I just want to spread, you know, love and positivity. I think that there's a lot of negativity in the world, especially on the media. It's always showcasing oh, what's the the bad things happening in the world and I think it's like that's why I love that we linked up absolutely like everything you do is just a positive outlook you try to change the world one motorcycle at a time hey, you man. know what I'm saying like everything you do to give back it's truly inspiring and I feel like we need more people on YouTube we need more people in the world like you that that spread the love and show that life is about living and not like yeah all this bullshit amen brother well I am glad that you are now on the two-wheel family here and with Indian uh, good friends of mine. Thank you so much to you guys out there at Indian for working with me, helping me make this happen. Thank you for Mark because so uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun for you, and I know you're gonna do some good with it. And I expect to probably see some funny skits out there. Yep, you're so. gonna do some skits. <laughs> Definitely gonna try to make it out to Sturgis. Uh oh, we'll do some Sturgis do some action. Some barstow action. Oh man. Whew. Hit up some biker bars with some biker babes. Biker babes. My girl's gonna be the biker babe. You, you. I gotta can... stop making these jokes about me picking up girls. <laughs> yeah, man, you're gonna. That's the truth right there. Get the motorcycle right away, man. <laughs> All right, man. Well, listen, guys. This is where I am gonna sign out, and I'm just gonna tell you, man. There's an amazing group of people out there riding motorcycles every day, helping people all across this country in so many different ways. And uh, I'm just excited and, and honored to be part of that culture. I'm excited to have my friend here. Yeah, I'm excited to join, man. Man, it's cool to have you and part of this culture. I mean, you've got a reach that just is going to be able to change lives. Yeah, I think it's like like you always say, like, what, what is your motto? You're only on this planet once or something. What do you say? I said life's short. Life's short, buy, buy a the motorcycle. damn motorcycle. Buy, buy, buy the damn motorcycle. I think it's important because I feel like, yeah, like, you gotta live life to the fullest and take risks, and I feel like a lot of people are afraid to do that. So, like, something like this brings joy. You saw my dad smiles all day long. Like, he hasn't he hasn't smiled like that since he was 20 years old. Since he was 20 years old. <laughs> That's what it's all about, y'all. Bring it full circle. Until the next vlog, we will check you all later. The Americans! Woo!